I hope you're ready for some tech talk because we are about to get a crash course in motorized spindle design, motorized spindle technology. And with me is Sam Lee, Soul Powers International Sales Manager. Sam, thank you again for having us today. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we want to talk about motorized spindles because it is one of your core products, one of your core technologies, right? Of course, yes. yes it is. Okay, so um, obviously people watching, uh, most of them will be uh, from the machine tool industry, so they will be familiar with spindles, but maybe more familiar with conventional spindles, such as belt-driven spindles. Yep. So to kick it off, why don't you give us uh, the main differences between a conventional spindle and a motorized spindle? Okay, well, let me tell you. The conventional one has a, an external motor, which depends on the gear and the bolt and the covers. Mm -hmm. But the motorized spindle, mm -hmm. the motor itself is built inside. Okay. Yes. Hence the name built-in motor or mo uh, built-in spindle or motorized spindle. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And yes. Uh, we'll be talking about the benefits of motorized spindles in more detail, but from what you just said, okay. I would assume a clear advantage is you save some space, right? Because okay. you don't have a motor attached. Yes, outside. absolutely. Yes, yes. Okay, absolutely. excellent. Now we'll be talking about uh, the spindles here in a few moments, but we also have some components here, components of a motorized spindle. So what are we seeing here in front of us? Well, yeah, this is just a few components. Uh, the motorized spindle itself has a lot mm -hmm. of components, but generally speaking, the most, I mean, the most important part are the shaft itself, okay. the spacer, spacer, the encoder, and encoder. the bearing, front and back. Rear bearing, okay. yes. And of course, we could get here into even more details, but uh, we're not engineers, you're not an engineer, so we're trying to get some of the most basic uh, Absolutely, basic yes. Effects I'll try, I'll try my best, yes. I'll okay, try to highlight beautiful. some. Yes. Uh, now, the spindle. So we see three types here in front of us to illustrate the different applications. So of maybe course. you can share with us. Yes, where the main application are here at uh, Solbar, the milling. Okay, so that's a milling spindle for milling applications. Yes, and uh, Turning built in, built in okay. spindle. Okay. And uh, woodworking. Oh, okay. Also for woodworking. Yes, absolutely. Built well. in motor, yes. Okay. Now, I just mentioned benefits of a motorized spindle. Uh, we talked about uh, safe space, but there is more. So, why of don't course. you give us the main advantages of a motorized spindle? They have a motorized spindle compared to other spindle types. Okay, well, the main advantages are high speed. Okay, higher speed. High precision. Mm -hmm. Low vibration very small size and very easy to install. Okay. Yes. Okay, great. I mean, we'll be talking about all those things in more detail in a few moments. And we will also see some uh, inspection processes, some inspection equipment, QC, QA yep. measures and so on. But of course, quality starts at the very beginning. Of and course. the very beginning is the design process. So, and you manufacture and design your spindles 100% yourself, right? Uh, absolutely, yes. So that's why we want to focus uh, on the design process. And uh, you are not a designer, again, I just said it, but- Just highlighting, but I'm yeah, trying to we're highlight, go yes. through the main yes. steps of your design process right now. Sounds good, sounds okay, good. Okay, so? Well, well, let me start with the, the heart of the motorized bundle. Okay. The motor itself. It's made in-house. Made it, we, we made it here at Soul Power. Oh, okay. So even the motor itself is manufactured by Soul Power. Absolutely. You're not using for the past 20, motors from for, other manufacturers. No, no, no. For the past 25 years, we have been manufacturing the, the motor itself. Okay. Yes. It's one of your core technologies, motors. Of right? course, yes, yes. It's that's that's it's how Soul Power started? Out, oh, yes, right? we started, yes. As a building motor uh, the, the motor supplier, yes. So, how do you want to show us and tell us about that design process? Okay, well, let's start off with taking a look at one of our motorized bundle. All right, yes. let's do it. Okay, so we're seeing a specification sheet of one of your spindles. Yes, this is one on our catalog. Mm -hmm. Yes, our customer can find it, of course, okay, on Okay, so one our of page. your motorized spindles, that's what we're talking yes, about today. Yes, All exactly, right. yes. So, well, what do we see? What do you want to tell us? Well, before we start, uh, building the prototype, manufacturing mm -hmm. the prototype, we right. have to determine three things. The first one is the interface, the housing. How big is it mm -hmm. in terms of size? Okay. 
And the second thing, we have to know the maximum speed of the motorized bundle. So the requirements of your customer, what, uh, what requirements yeah, does it have yeah, when we'll it comes have to, to determine that, yes, of course, yes. Spindle speed, all right, that's yes. 24,000 RPM, that's pretty fast, right? Uh, actually, it's not that fast oh, really? when it comes to solar power. Yeah, we okay. can reach up, we already reached up to 40,000. Oh, wow, okay. Yes, so okay. it depends on the table and, of course, depends mm -hmm. on the customer requirement. Mm -hmm. The third thing we have to de determine before we start the prototype or yeah. the bearing uh, calculation procedure, uh -huh. what kind of tool system we're using. All right. Yep. As you see here. So we've got all those parameters and um, say I need a different diameter, different maximum uh, spindle speed and most of these parameters can be customized. Absolutely, yes, absolutely, yes. The housing, mm -hmm. the speed, the bearing specification, I mean, when it, the lubrication, it's grease. Right. The cost, some customers uh, required uh, oil air. Okay. See here, the built-in motor. Some customer required a, a synchronous, some customer require synchronous. Okay, so again, different yeah. types of motors of course, as well. As we talked here. about the motor, you said the heart of the spindle, and Absolutely. we also have a spec sheet for a motor, <laughs> yeah. right? Yes, of course. Well, I have to specify something here. Uh -huh. You will never see this kind of specification of a motorized spindle okay. in any other companies. Oh, okay, why is for that? For one reason, okay. because we made this in-house, the, the motor. Okay, inside okay. the spindle, yes. I see, so that's what, maybe we talked about it already, you manufacture your motors 100% uh, yes. yourself as well, it's built in-house. Yeah, so those, those are customized, even, even, even here, the torque, the shaft power, the shaft speed, okay. it it's also can be customized and up to the customers to decide that. Okay, yep. great, so that's the very first step of the design process, just determining what do we need. What yes. kind of specifications do we require? Of course. Okay, you? well, after that, we'll make an uh, initial uh, blueprint of mm -hmm. the bearing mm -hmm. calculation mm -hmm. procedure. Okay. Here you go. As you see, the first uh, thing is the structure of yeah. the spindle. Mm -hmm. The second thing, the we, we add the maximum speed. Right. The, we'll add the DMN value. Mm -hmm. uh, we, at here at Solbar, we can reach up to uh, 200. Okay. And the mounting uh, direction here is vertical. Of course, mm -hmm. it can be mm -hmm. horizontal as well. Right. The lubrication here in Greece, but of course, we customize yeah. oil air as well. Yeah. Uh, here we use more the, design parameters. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so what else do we want to focus well, on? Well, here this we chart? here we enter the interference value between mm -hmm. the inner uh, bearing, the inner rings of the bearing, uh -huh. and the shaft. All right. And the uh, second here, it's the clearance between the outer ring, the outer uh, ring of the bearing, and uh, the housing. So this is obviously tolerance. Uh, we're talking about accuracy. Yes, and interference and clearance as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, as of course we get those, which was most importantly to get these, the mm -hmm. spindle rigidity. And as you know, the rigidity in the spindle, it's Absolutely the most crucial, yeah. one of the most important mm -hmm. factor here. Yep. Uh, axial or radial. And those diagrams, it's so what So those are calculations, collected. what you expect of course. from this uh, uh, spindle performance. Yes, you can say so, yes. Okay. And here we... Spacer, okay. Yes, we use the correct amount of the spacer mm -hmm. uh, data to do our preload adjustment. So here, the inner ring, the interference between the bearing inner ring and mm -hmm. the shaft. Here, we'll uh, know the, um, the correction amount data uh, of the spacer ring which needed to be uh, grinded. Okay, and we can see very low tolerances, like very high accuracy. Of course, of course, that's, that's one of the uh, main advantages of the motorized spindle. So here, as you see, when the outer ring of the spacer is higher than the inner one, mm -hmm. the reload increases. Okay. And here, when the outer ring mm -hmm. of the spacer mm -hmm. is lower mm -hmm. than the inner one, the reload decreases. Okay, so that's like the basic, uh, when yeah. it comes to the spacer, the basic thing that you have to pay attention yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of an overview of the, the, of okay. the blue brain. So when yes. it comes to the, the very first stage of the design or the design process itself, those were the basic calculation, uh, yeah, calculations the that calculation. you have to perform. Yes. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a must, yes, of course. Okay, and then the next step would be before the production, you would manufacture a prototype? Absolutely, yes. Okay, well, so? We can talk about it more here? Yeah, of course, let's do that. Okay.
So we talked about the components earlier already, shaft, spacer and whatnot. And so how do you make sure that uh, whatever design, drawing, calculations and all that theoretical stuff, you have the spindle that you want to manufacture and then you have the prototype. So how do you check the quality of these components to ensure that uh, the spindle performs as expected? Well, the inner parts of the motorized spindle are very, very important. Mm -hmm. we, we focused on the precision of it has to be ultra precision. Uh, let's say the shaft, uh, the spacer, mm -hmm. etc. So we use uh, like many many devices and instruments, mm -hmm. such, such like uh, the roundest uh, device detections okay. and 2D, 3D inspection instruments. Mm -hmm. Of course, to measure the uh, deflection, the roundness, and the cylindricity. Okay. And so Regarding the spacer ring, right. well, of course, we focus on its parallelism. Okay, so roundness testing, parallelism, and 3D coordinated measuring. And so on, So you've yes. got all that equipment here in-house. Yes. So you have the capabilities to perform those inspections. Absolutely, and I can take you take a look uh, and later we, on. Yeah, we will. We will in a few moments, and uh, we're going to split it up because you have like two big areas when it comes to testing as well, uh, one is dynamic yep. measurements and uh, static measurements, right? I think we, sh we have another, the run-in and the climbing as well. Okay, measurement. okay. Yes. right. So, and uh, do you want to show us some of the testing right yeah. now? We, can we just check it out? Yeah, let's start with the dynamic measurement. Okay. Okay, please. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. One of the, our first item on the dynamic measurement okay, testing. Okay, for motorized spindles. Yes, temperature mm -hmm. saturation uh, process, okay. aka run-in. Run-in test. Yes, run-in right. test. So here we uh, monitor and record the temperature rising stability mm -hmm. from zero to its maximum high speed, RBM. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So By adding 1000 RBM each time until we reach its uh, highest uh, rotation speed, okay, high, so highest RBM. Incremental uh, steps and at each step you will measure the temperature. Absolutely, yes. Okay. As you see here, it's the uh, temperature uh, degrees. The maximum are, uh, is 60. Okay. And here is the line, it's a timing. Timeline. And mm -hmm. there is the revolution per minute, so uh, the speed. RBM, spindle speed, till we reach the, its maximum. Yep, got it. Yep and under normal circumstances won't exceed 30 degrees. Okay, okay, so yes. that's the goal. That's yes, the, the, yeah, of course. And we have to record every step all the way. All the way. All yeah. right, so that was the run-in test, but that's only one of four items, I believe, on yes. the dynamic measurement yes. list, right? Yes, so what, exactly, what's yes. up next? What else the do we have? The second thing I see here is the frequency measurement. Mm -hmm. Frequency? The, yes, the frequency analysis as uh, to measure the spindle uh, operation. So we can, we can, we'll make sure that the spindle rotation is perfectly good. Okay. Uh, as you see on the screen, mm -hmm. when it's uh, first, second, third order are gradually decreasing, that means our, the spindles are perfectly well, perfectly good. Okay, perfect yeah. uh, soul power quality. Absolutely, yes. Okay, yes. beautiful. Now, also another important topic we want to talk vibration. about is vibration. You want to yes. keep it low, of course. Because it's very important for the accuracy. It's as well, one of right? the main advantages of the spindle, actually, mm -hmm. to be to have a low vibration. Uh, so, in our on our measurement here at Soul Power, our vibration me measurement are based on ISO seventeen two four three. All right. So Again, yeah. international standard. Absolutely, yes. It's the highest uh, international standards for the vibration. Yeah. The rotation speed here started from 600 RBM mm -hmm. till 13,000 RBM. Oh, wow, all the way up to 30,000 yeah. RBM. And yeah. it's also suitable for uh, rolling, rolling bearing and ball bearing as well. Okay, excellent. Yep. So vibration testing. Now we have one more item on the list uh, when it comes to dynamic measurements. Balancing, I believe. Balancing. So yep. we want to keep uh, the spindle well balanced. Of course, yes. It's to integrate the central line of mass with rotational axis. 
Okay. So, yeah, so we'll have a high accuracy uh -huh. and a better surface finish. Okay. And a higher removal rate. Okay. And to increase, of course, to increase the tool, the tooling life as okay. well. Okay. So four things you just mentioned. I'm sure people who are looking for a motorized spindle that will very much of care course, about. Of course, yes. Right? It's it's a, it's one of the main advantages of the motorized spindle itself. Okay. Yes, to be very a high accurate, high precision. Okay. Yes. And again, I think here you also. Um, testing according to ISO standards, right? Yes. Our balancing inspection here at Soul Bar is based on ISO 1940. Okay, so again, meeting international standards? Yes, absolutely, yes. Okay, okay. Actually, the mechanism be behind uh, the motorized spindle, as you already know, and our mm -hmm. audience know, mm -hmm. it's very complicated. It is indeed. So, yeah, yeah most of our dy dynamic measurement mm -hmm. has to be done twice. Okay. So, okay. yeah, we have to make sure there's no, absolutely, there's no uh, space or place for error here. Okay, so meeting 100% uh, quality. Absolutely, 110% well, yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, 110, excellent. yeah. So there was the balancing, the last uh, item on our dynamic measurement list. Yes. But now yes. we want to move on to, to the static measurement. Yes. And I believe we have uh, to get uh, go to another, another area. area. Yes. Okay, okay you well, want to take me there now? Yes, please. Yes, okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, Sam, so we just covered dynamic measurements and now we want to talk about static yes. measurements, right? Of course, yes. We're going to start talking about static measurement first, mm -hmm. then climbing force, Okay. then we'll end up with, uh, eventually, with the run out. Run out, okay. Yes. Okay, so static measurements, what okay. do we need to know about? Well, at Soul Bauer here we have to focus on two points, two things. Mm -hmm. The axial rigidity and the radial rigidity. Okay, excellent radial rigidity. Yes, those, so. yes these are very important. Right, because, obviously rigidity is very important, because, right? Yeah, because it has to do a lot mm -hmm. with the quality of mm -hmm. the work piece you're working on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So those inspections, mm -hmm. has, those the axial and the radial has to pass our measurement. Okay. Yes, in order to ensure okay. our customer that he can get the quality he's right. he required. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's the main target, that's the main goal. Of course, right? yes. Okay, so uh, what else do we have? We have the climbing force. Okay. We, besides uh, testing the climbing force, uh -huh. we need to test the draw bar okay. endo en endorsement. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Besides, bes besides the draw bar, we have uh -huh. the axial thermal growth of the shaft. Thermal growth of yes. the shaft. Oh, okay, yes, okay. Yes, the axial... Very technical, yes, yeah. Of course, mm -hmm. yes, because it's in, we have to ensure the quality of our uh, um, motorized spindle, mm -hmm. our built-in spindle, mm -hmm. in order to get to the best quality okay. we, can, we can achieve, we can get. Okay, wow, I mean, we just uh, talked about uh, the um, dynamic measurements, then yep. now the static measurements and additional tests, sure. additional inspections, so all together, I think uh, like 10, 11, 12 different inspection procedures for your motorized spindle. Well, I stopped counting one time ago. So. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I don't know how many, but it's quite a lot. Yeah, and I there think there's even lot. more that you want to yeah, talk about, Yeah, the mechanism right? behind that is very, very wide. Mm -hmm. So so we... So, yeah. and another thing that uh, I think that you mentioned there earlier are, is the run out. Yeah, I, run I think there's a the run out still, yes. Yeah. Okay, finally, we're going to be talking about the run out. Okay. Well, there is our four position to measure mm -hmm. before shipping out the spindle itself. All right. The taper, inside the taper, uh -huh. we have to measure the accuracy. It should be, it, and actually it must be, uh -huh. less or equal uh -huh. to, to uh, 0.002 millimeter. Okay. And the second position, mm -hmm. it's the taper face itself, okay. outside. We have to measure it, uh -huh. the same thing. Uh -huh. And the tolerance there? 0.002 millimeters. Okay, same. So the third position we have to test is the root of the test bar, which has to be equal to 0.003. Uh, then the fourth part, we have to test the uh, test bar itself run out, which has to be equal to 0.008. All right. Yes. Okay, so that was that uh, inspection. The run out. The run out inspection, yeah. right? Yes. Okay, so yeah, thank you, Sam, for showing us uh, dynamic measurements, static measurements, and all the other inspections, but there's even more. The but there are some inspection procedures that you couldn't or wouldn't show us, right? Well, yes, it's uh, it's a policy. There's some customized machine. Yeah. Yeah, it's made for soul power, so. Okay. Not meant Not for the public. Absolutely, yes. Okay, beautiful. Yes. So, um, 
I think we're done here, but I know that you want to share even more with us today about yes. your capabilities when it comes to the manufacture of uh, motorized spindles, right? Absolutely. What about we go back to what, where we started? Okay, let's okay, go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Wow, so we've just seen what really goes into the design, the manufacture, the development of a motorized spindle, right? So we talked about the design process, we talked about uh, all the calculations that you have to perform and then all the testing, all those inspections we've just seen. So it's not an easy task to, to develop, to manufacture a motorized spindle. Of course, it's, that's why the main advantages of the motorized spindle, the high precision, the high speed, the low vibration and compact size and easy to install, as I mentioned before. So it has to be ultra precision. Right. to do that, yes. And if you want to achieve ultra precision, you need the knowledge and you need a big team, right? You have a huge R&D yes. team as well. Absolutely, yes. We have a, like almost uh, about 30, mm -hmm. 35. Wow. Yes, okay. with over than 20, yeah, with, uh, with over than 20 years experience in this field. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Now we want to talk about, obviously, you're not the only manufacturer of um, motorized spindles here in Taiwan. But I am sure, Sam, that you believe that you are the number one choice for everyone around the globe looking for a professional motorized spindle supplier, right? Absolutely, yes. I mean, I mean believe is not enough here to describe solar power. Okay. I'm, I'm very confident that we okay. are the best choice. Okay, so what makes you so confident about it? What, what are the main advantages of uh, solar power as motorized spindles? Well, besides the fact we have seen solar powers manufacturing competitive capabilities, mm -hmm. we have been in this business for the best 25 years, okay. manufacturing motors, and the spindles bar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Sol Bauer is holding one of, I mean, most of the well-respected certificates. Okay, Na such as? Uh, such as ISO uh, okay. 1940, uh -huh. ISO 17243, uh, mm -hmm. UL mm -hmm. as well. Wait, UL, are we talking about UL certified or UL recognized or UL listed? I mean, I think there are some slight differences uh, there, right? Good, yeah, yeah, good questions. Well, we are a UL listed. Oh, okay. We have been uh, testing uh, nationally mm -hmm. for the safety and sustainability standards. Okay, safety and sustainability, also two very important topics. Now, Sam, before we end this segment here, anything else you would like to add? Absolutely, yes. I want to add uh, the most important thing I've been uh, thinking about since we started. <laughs> okay, please go ahead. Yes. We're well, Solbar is the only manufacturer here in Taiwan who has these capabilities. Okay, when you say these capabilities, you're talking about manufacturing uh, motorized spindles in-house? Actually, the motor itself is the heart. Mm -hmm. So, Solbar have been manufacturing the motor since 1995. Okay. And Solbar motor, globally, well known. Mm -hmm. So, from A, starting from the motor itself, till we manufacture mm -hmm. the whole part of the mm -hmm. motorized spindle. Mm -hmm. So, there is no need to go to B or C or D to manufacture or to get okay. your motor so to no put it inside. Okay, so that's not sole power. You don't see yourself as B, C, D, E. We're not an B, C, and a D. We approved, We already proved ourselves enough to be an A. Okay. There is no none again, none in Taiwan who can manufacture the motor synchronous as synchronous and man manufacture the spindle from A to Z, okay. here in-house, okay. except A, okay. Soul Power. Okay, excellent. I like your confidence, Sam. Thank you very much for thank this you. crash course on uh, motorized spindles. And thank you for watching. If you're looking for a supplier that can help you with the manufacture of motorized spindles from the beginning to the very end, the design research of the spindle and the motor itself, testing, prototyping, manufacture and after-sales services, well, then Soul Power might be the best choice for you.